Joining me now on this leg of the show is Inderpreet Vadva, the CEO of Azure Power, which specializes in solar power projects in India. He's joining us from New York to talk to us about the big picture that Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has been making in the United States over the last week or so. Mr. Vadva, it's uh, great to have you with us here in the newsroom. Uh, now, the Finance Minister is trying to send out that message that India is fixing all hurdles that investors have faced earlier in the past. Now, are you convinced by what he's uh, saying in New York, in Washington, D.C., and now in California? Yeah, so absolutely. I think um, what I'd like to share with you is that we very recently completed a 100-megawatt solar power plant in uh, Jodhpur area in Rajasthan in India. Yes. And uh, this is the largest project under the National Solar Mission uh, that has been commissioned in a record time of less than eight months. And this itself is a huge testament for our performance in India under the new government's regime, wherein uh, we've been able to get all clearances, financing, um, implementation of the project done in, in record time. So we actually can attest to uh, some of the commitments the new government has, has made and uh, have clearly delivered on as far as solar is concerned. So you're saying that it's actually happening on the ground, which has been a key concern. So things are actually changing, is what you're saying. A key message that this government has been uh, sending out, Mr. Badwa, is that it's making it easier to do business in India. So uh, in your experience with the setting up of uh, this plant, uh, also in your initial years and in the last year after the government has changed, are you seeing it actually palpably change? Uh, could you just repeat the last uh, question? I'm just wondering, just with your experience so far, with everything that the government is promising, you've recounted an experience that you've just had. Now, this is very different from how things were in the past. I don't know how much experience you've had dealing with uh, bureaucracy and the government in the past, but I'm trying to understand what has palpably changed on the ground. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think uh, th there's, a, there's a marked uh, difference in growth uh, uh, in the solar sector. Mm. Uh, very specifically, I would uh, you know, point to the national solar mission targets under the previous regime were uh, set at 20,000 megawatts by year 2022. And um, as recently as last week, uh, we have seen the uh, cabinet approval for that target to increase five folds to 100,000 uh, megawatt. And, and not only just an increase in, in target, but the inclusiveness of all the states into this program has been uh, unprecedented and overwhelming support, wherein the states are pledging their respective capacities in solar uh, across the country, which is, which is unprecedented. Right. So you're in probably the hottest space right now, as we see it, ever since the new government set out uh, its ambitious renewable uh, power targets. Uh, we've seen some of the biggest conglomerates in India get into this space. Are you enthused by the focus that this government uh, has on uh, renewable energy? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, uh, enthused is probably an understatement. I think uh, the overwhelming uh, uh, support that we are getting in this space today is, is very clearly uh, also seen by some of the larger enterprises uh, making very large commitments to renewable energy in India under the new leadership. Fair enough, but now on the periphery of it, of this entire space of renewable energy, uh, you will need uh, all of them to really tie in. Uh, do you find that happening as well in terms of your suppliers, in terms of the entire industry as it were? Absolutely. So I think there are a couple of things that we've seen on the ground happening as well under the National Solar Mission projects where in, in the past uh, companies like ours had to scout for land, acquire land on our own, uh, which sometimes can be tricky. But some of the new initiatives we are seeing under the National Solar Mission, the uh, uh, states are coming forward with uh, solar parks where the basic infrastructure is already in place for companies like ours to come in and execute even faster than what we've done in the past. Sure. Uh, also, there have been discussions around uh, making investments in uh, green corridors for evacuation of large amount of renewable energy, okay. which is critical to the success of this policy. Um, so initiatives like these, coupled with some of the financial institutions uh, coming forward for their commitments of investment into renewable energy uh, and strengthening of the local uh, debt markets, is all uh, being very well planned and thought out to bring all the pieces uh, 
uh, required for success. So which are the areas that you think uh, really require work right now? If there are any challenges, uh, what would you say they are? So I'd say from the perspective of solar energy, I think the two uh, uh, things that I would like to see additional focus on uh, in the coming months and years is uh, uh, the infrastructure around uh, green corridors for evacuation of uh, renewable energy. Um, the second uh, piece would be uh, maturing uh, the bond or the debt markets uh, locally mm -hmm. so um, we can finance these projects over a longer tenure uh, than what we have seen in the past, uh, trying to bring in you know, institutions like pension funds and uh, insurance funds uh, into this uh, area and ensuring that uh, there's a, a simpler way for them to invest and then uh, repatriate uh, uh, these investments over a longer period of time. And does uh, more competition from uh, the much deeper pocketed, uh, the better networked players who've already established their bases here, make you change your strategy in any way coming uh, as you are into this space? Uh, obviously, like you've uh, said, there is a vast potential in this space. So the more the merrier and there is a lot more work to be done. But does it alter your strategy looking at uh, the headway these people have, the first movers as it were? Yeah, so I think, uh, I mean, we've uh, spent several years in the Indian market in several jurisdictions in uh, building our relationships and our platform for growth. Um, the additional interest that has been generated because of the wonderful support and expansion of the policy targets only further validates our business model and business plan. So we actually look forward to a healthy market, uh, healthy competition that's absolutely essential for uh, maturing of any industry and solar is at that inflection point in India now.